the end of the second century, the later Han Dynasty was approaching its end. It was a time of war, beginning with a popular uprising known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. It was during this time that one provincial governor came to prominence. His name was Dong Zhuo. Taking advantage of the turbulence surrounding the plot to exterminate the palace eunuchs, Dong Zhuo seized power and began a reign of tyranny. In response, the governors formed an alliance and moved to overthrow him. Among the many heroes to march for the alliance were an ambitious Cao Cao and his officer Shao Dun. In my position, as a descendant of Confucius, I cannot allow Dong Zhuo's villainy. I'm pleased to hear that. As leader of the White Riders, I promise you that the victory will belong to us. Hmm. Is this why each of these great lords gathered to brag about himself? They are fools. Cousin, is it really worth our while to take their side? The name Cao Cao will know renown all across the land. That's reason enough for now. But I require help from others in order for my plan to succeed. I am depending upon you. Have I ever disappointed you? There is no need to worry. I shall cut you a path to fame and glory. shall destroy the traitor and his ilk. Forward! It is up to us to restore order to the Han! So, you are dead! I'll crush you! Across the land. 
Foe, those that cannot keep up will be cut down where they stand. Fight me now, for glory! Another victim has fallen to my blades. Whoa, you are doing an excellent job. Die! This base belongs to me now. Wits are a match for mine. It's a trap! One of virtue would never stoop to such cowardly tactics. Another victim has fallen to my blade. This base belongs to me now. Well done, Shahodun. I brought life to my troops. Now is the time to attack! Everybody, to battle! I have come for your head! The victim has fallen to my blade. This base belongs to me now. Fallen to my blade. Yeah. 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 
This base belongs to me now. Let us hit back. Please follow me. We can make a difference here. Now charge. Coven, Die! I shall pull back for now. However, we shall meet in battle again. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my blade. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. You did well. That worked only because we acted as a team. Save the Han if we shirk from this duty. Loyal people of the Han, let us fight. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Yes, good work. I will repay your efforts by working as hard myself. This base belongs to me now. More of them are coming. Our position will crumble under these odds.
Base belongs to me now. Die! Another victim has fallen to my blade. A true warrior indeed. We will carry our honor across the land. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my blade. You have defeated Lu Bu. Well done. Only Dong Zhuo remains. Forward. Next, 
I hope you enjoy yourself. Now I will crush you. I must do some great deeds if I am to surpass you in arms. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Now is the time! Through the gate! Think to outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. Achieved victory! These results should suffice for now. The governors succeeded in deposing Dong Zhuo, and each soon began plotting to take power for themselves. Cao Cao took the emperor into custody to keep him out of political matters, and set up Xu Chang as his base, intent on steadily strengthening his position there. Liu Bei, who had also participated in the fight to bring down Dong Zhuo, paid a visit to Cao Cao to tell him that he had been entrusted with Xu province by Yan Qian, who had lost to Lu Bu in battle. Cao Cao agreed to Liu Bei's request to join forces and immediately sent troops to Xia Pi. Cousin, why must we give aid to a person like Liu Bei? I know that there is a dragon hiding behind his gentle manners and quick smile. When the dragon emerges, it will join its forces with mine or the dragon's fated to be destroyed. I'd find that very pleasant. Still, if they will fight Lu Bu for us, I must give them my thanks. Come now, Du. Is something wrong? 
You're not concentrating on the game. Losing at Go does not mean that I will lose in battle. Let's continue when I come back. Once I've defeated the enemy, I will return. It doesn't matter how strong it is. A ravening beast cannot rule the land. Blue Boo, your rampage ends here. In this season, the rivers of this area run high. If we were to destroy the floodgates, we could drown them. I have come for your head! belongs to me now. What is that? Do you hear that sound? Nothing but child's play. As if mere water could stop me. Do you think I'm that easy to destroy? At last, the floodgates are down. Let us rush the castle and destroy the enemy. My lord, there is a force approaching from the south. They are heading this way. South? Just as Cao Cao predicted, he will side with Lu Bu. Prepare to counter their attack. A true warrior indeed! You will carry our honor across the land! Come and face me! Another victim has called into my play. Sorry, dude! You made me lose face! This face belongs to me now. It is time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! I shall hold back for now. However, we shall meet in battle again. Another victim has fallen to my play. Another victim has fallen to my play. True to your reputation, such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Having trouble, I have come to aid you. Another victim has fallen to my blade. This base belongs to me now. Die! Like a warrior, indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. We're gonna have to try harder than this. They're even stronger than I thought! Die! Do you believe you 
your wits are a match for mine. Another victim has fallen to my blade. This will show no mercy. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my blade. So you fought your way here. Well then, I shall crush you myself. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Lu Bu is leaving his base to fight. He truly is quite the beast. Take the enemy camp! Cut away his support! Now that's how it's done! You inspire us all! You think <laughs> that is going to stop me? Come! I shall not lose to anyone! The gods have answered us! We thank you for coming to our aid! <laughs> Another victim has fallen to my blade. Dio Chan! Dio Chan! It is time to unveil my plan. Begin the advance! Let's go! Get rest until we finish off these jokers! They're even stronger than I thought! This base belongs to me now. We've taken the camp. We have crippled their ability to fight. Only Lu Bu is left. Forget about the rest. Stop him! True to your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. It looks like there is finally somebody worth my time! Now you're mine! Die! Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my blade. I will show no mercy. Another victim has fallen to my blade. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. I will show no mercy. How can this be? Lose to one like you. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Lu Bu has been defeated. Victory is ours. These results should suffice for now.
Liu Bu was struck down in a desperate fight against Xia Hudun's forces. Afterwards, Cao Cao pressed Liu Bei to attack Yuan Shu, who had declared himself emperor. The true aim of Cao Cao was to have Liu Bei murdered, but the plot ended in failure. Cao Cao had made a lifelong enemy and let him escape into the world. Meanwhile, north of Cao Cao's sphere of influence, Yuan Shao defeated the forces of Gan Sun Zan and built up immense power, overcoming the camaraderie that the former allies felt, and each believing the other to be a liability. Cao Cao and Yuan Shao advanced their armies to battle at Guangdu. All right, what's wrong, Xu Chu? What isn't wrong, Sha Hu Dun? I just feel so bad about what's going on. Lord Cao Cao fighting his friends. Oh. It can't be avoided. An enemy is an enemy, former friend or not. Yuan Shao has opposing goals. If Lord Cao Cao's goals differ, there's no way of avoiding a fight. Wow, I'm impressed. I think you're right. I can't believe how well you seem to understand Lord Cao Cao's thinking. Well, that is as far as my understanding goes. And besides, when it comes to my cousin, who could understand his convoluted dreams? <laughs>